Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's do the regular path here with the moving cave. Yep, it's a cave and it's moving. Or at least it feels like it's moving. It's probably some trickery because I don't, I'm not sure the regular Mario World had anything like this. <laughs> so uh, having a cape in this level is pretty dang useful because you've got very little room to run around in, as you can tell because you're stuck between these two walls, and you've got to jump between the uh, darker foreground areas here. So having a cape to sort of give you a little bit of glide, pretty useful. And I probably shouldn't have come down here. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> yeah, this is the kind of level where you'll get squished very, very easily if you aren't careful, so... Just relax, just jump at the last second, if you can, and you should be fine. Also look ahead, because there might be paths that will lead to dead ends like that, yeah. So, also be sure to try and get ahead of certain spots like there, uh, otherwise you could be squished while falling on the way down. So it's all about the planning. This is a pretty cool level overall, but... Uh, uh, it's sort of tricky. <laughs> Just gotta be careful, be mindful of the stuff. Don't just pay attention to the foreground objects, pay attention to the scrolling stuff. And okay, this is gonna be evil. <laughs> that was close. That was very close. Okay, now when you get to this open area, you're gonna get some uh, X fire bullets here. I think somewhere, yeah, oh, oh not X-Fire, it's uh, lateral fire, but I thought it was the X. And it's really, really awkward to deal with them if you don't have a cape, because you got these slopes that you keep easily sliding down, and yeah, <laughs> at least they make you deal with them with the timing as, they're, as you're falling down rather than going up, because then you might end up landing on top of them. And here's a rather mean jump here. Uh, it stops scrolling at this point, but you've got to use a bullet to get up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so time yourself well. There we go. Okay. We are good. And here's sort of like a, a preview to the next level coming up here. And I'm gonna kill you when the shell is coming towards you uh, because the shell will stop moving then uh, when you start. I mean, when it when you touch it because you're gonna try kicking it. Uh, yeah. Why this is a preview of the next level, you will soon see. Next level is actually pretty dang hard, like it's a step up in difficulty to uh, uh, other levels. Yeah, there's one little level between you and the castle. Didn't look like there's gonna be one, but there is one. It's Koopa Kick. So, ooh, that's the idea of the level, is Koopas kicking shells, and they're pretty mean in how they do it. <laughs> Some spots are a little bit memorization-y. So I'm not all that much of a fan of it, but I guess, ooh, but I guess um, it's something that happens every so often in games you just gotta deal with. Not a fan of it, but you just gotta deal with it. Oh, I wonder if having a fire flower would be better than a cape. Because I can fry the shells from a distance. I don't, nah, maybe not. I'm gonna stick with the cape. And I really don't want to check the pipes because I know there's not a, oh jeez, a secret exit here. Um, and checking pipes could be rather risky. <laughs> yeah, so this is an entire level based off of the idea of Koopas kicking shells, and it's pretty cool. But, except for, you know, those blind spots that I talked about. <laughs> it's, gotta, it's gotta be mindful. Oh yeah, there's something down there. Do I dare go down there? Because I'm pretty sure it's just a power-up. Guess I will just... Yeah, there's a platform there. And uh, as a cape, that's pretty nice to have, but I think that's your your only power-up after uh, getting the midpoint. Unless you go back to the uh, top secret area. Mm, nope, 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 nope. That's why I like to offset stuff with the cape. Because I can look ahead and see what is coming, yeah. Well, maybe this level isn't as unfair as I remember it. It's just that the reaction time is really, really... Uh, it's really quick. It just feels unfair, but it's actually not. Ooh! Yeah, because oh, because this is going pretty well. Although that might not have gone so well if I was uh, wasn't spinning or if I didn't have the cape. Yeah, fish just pushed that Koopa off the ledge, 
And now I'm kind of unsure how I want to do this jump. <laughs> Because because it, it's it's in a spot where um, I'll be bounced up to the fish. Ugh, okay, it's safe to be under the fish, but when you're going into the crossfire of the fish, ooh, ooh, it's kind of dangerous. And the fish, yeah, the, the fish stop pretty pretty quickly, and then ugh, and they start up again. I'm just gonna wait here. It's gonna wait for my cape. <laughs> there we go. Good. Very good. All right, I think we're safe. I think we are home free. Yes, we are. And it transitions over to the castle. That's the thing that I like a lot about this game is that it has these little previews of what's to come, basically, of like what's your do what you're doing in the next level if you are going to take that part and whatnot. Oh wait, what's in here? Ooh, a cape. Lovely. All right. Anyway, can I get? All stars? No, I cannot. Ah, ow! 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 <laughs> well, I know there's uh, quite a few spots in this game that I can grind for 99 lives if I need them. Maybe I should do that like off camera or something like that to prevent the dreaded game over screen from making me lose progress. Uh, because as you know, I'm not using save states to- Oh, I replaced my power-up again! A good power-up! <laughs> Why? What's wrong with me? Why do I keep doing that? Uh, anyway, Vulcan uh, Volcano Castle here is a, uh, one of my favorite castles in the game here. It's got a, a lot of these moving blocks, and it really makes you focus on the timing of things. And I rather like that, uh, the, the way that they do this, and you'll see... Um, uh, as we go through this castle, what I mean by uh, the way that they use this. Um, anyway, as you know, castles have multiple uh, have multiple exits, so uh, be on the lookout for that. Just gonna I'm just gonna look over here because there's a uh, secrets on to the side. I, th I thought there was something all all the way into the wall over there, but I guess not. But yeah. Um, Maybe I'm thinking a, a little bit later area, because there's, there's a similar thwomp and saw um, section like that a little bit later on in the level two. So I, I probably just confused the two. Can I do this jump without the block? Yes, I can. That would be pretty difficult to do without a cape, though. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I just spazzed out there because I accidentally released down. But luckily I sort of glitched and it worked out. Uh, no, not there. Yeah, there's something off to the right. Maybe this is the thwomp and saw section that I was thinking of. It's not a difficult level by any means, but uh, it's definitely something you gotta look out for. And also, a little signature of the author here, FPI in the blocks above. Yep. E. Uh, Hitboxes. Hitboxes, why? Why? Just why? Why would you do this to me? Okay, this is the spot that is a secret. There's a cape and the moon. Oh, yeah. Hey, move it. Move it. Move it. Lose it. Going up. Now. There we go. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the um, secret exit first or if I... Oh, jeez. I forgot that was there. Or, or if I'm going to um, just do the regular exit. Doesn't really matter, I suppose. Uh, but anyway, here's where stuff gets really neat because you've got um, got obstacles, got a race for stuff, got a race for, race to get the stuff through obstacles. Yeah, like look look at this gauntlet coming up right here. You gotta put yourself in the line of fire, literally, to uh, get through this. Yeah, and and they get trickier and trickier as you go through this segment. It's pretty fun overall. Because it's all about the timing. Also, be wary of uh, the spacing between blocks. That's a good way to um, to be able to tell um, when the earliest spot you can jump down to the spots are. Like, I see, I can do it right there. And yeah, it's just a matter of paying attention and observing your surroundings carefully. Yes. Very. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 hot foot, hot foot, hot foot! Okay, I'm safe. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm definitely safe up here. Just as long as the blocks don't sink. I think it's like two squares into the lava. 
you will be safe. Because I think one square is... <sighs> one square is a little bit on the dangerous side. <laughs> Alright. I made it. I made it. I do believe... I've made it. I think I'm home free. Just as long as I'm careful here. Just not... Not to do anything rash. Not to do anything reckless. There we go! I've done it! Woo! 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 <laughs> Alright, now for that secret exit. <laughs> Wait, actually a cutscene. Yes, a cutscene. Alright, demolish that castle. Yes! Reference to Donkey Kong! <laughs> Mario has triumphed over Lemmy Koopa. Who built this castle inside the volcano? From here, Mario moves on to the Ice Bomb Bridge, which will lead to the Symphonic Mountains. Oh yeah. Ice Bomb Bridge is a really difficult level, by the way. Alright. Back in we go. L and R. Don't forget the L and R trick. So now, don't replace your power up this time. <laughs> All right. What I'm looking for is a rather suspicious set of blocks. Uh, these are really badly timed. I'm gonna reset them. <laughs> what I'm looking for is a suspicious set of blocks to bust through. If if this is the level that I'm thinking of that has oh geez. I don't think this timing is any better. That works. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I'm, I, well, maybe it's a pipe that I'm looking for that I need to go in. Uh, yeah, I think I'm thinking of um, Acoustic Castle that has blocks I need to break through to get into a spot. Oh, man. Well, now I gotta, gotta remember where the secret exit is in this sucker. <laughs> maybe it's up a pipe. It could be. It might be. But anyway, I'm going to be more careful this time through the castle to show that you can, you know, actually be successful in said castles without uh, having that many issues as I was having. <laughs> Wait, is it this one? Maybe it's this one. Oh, it is this one. Oh, no, Kamek. No, no, no. Actually, it's a... I do believe they're Magic Koopas. I think I have to go up over here. Yep. That's what I thought, and spin jump down there. Ooh, I almost lost my spin jump. And uh, there we go. There's the secret exit. Ooh, ooh, another portal. <laughs> and there you go. But of course, I'm not doing those portals now. I'm saving them for later. Um, mm, I think against my better judgment, I'll do one more level. I'm gonna start by going through this path first. It's the lower path. Bonsai Beach. Uh, it's probably based off of um, the very first level in the, uh, Yoshi's Island. Uh, I mean, not, uh, not Yoshi's. Well, yeah, it is Yoshi's Island, but it's the Yoshi's Island of this game because, you know, they had Bonsai Bills and whatnot. It also had that little very, very slight reference to the first level. I'm mean, oops in the uh, in the game at the very beginning of this level. So yeah, <laughs> it's kind of blatant. But, eh, eh, especially if you know um, Super Mario World pretty well. Oops. Oh, I'm just losing stuff all over the place. Bonsai Beach isn't all that difficult. It's just that I'm kind of messing up. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. I want to get in that cannon for kicks. <laughs> I can do that, and then I can go back, and then I can use the cannon for kicks. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Actually, is not not so much a cannon at the moment, but a secret area. <laughs> oh! 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 Got a little bit of pressure from the fuzzies here. At least they're not the fuzzy spore varieties. Ah, who am I kidding? I like the fuzzy spore varieties. Ooh. But I think that this path is just here for um, dragon coins, then you get shot out of the cannon, if I'm not mistaken. I could have just jumped down here if I would have known that this platform was here. But that's why those blocks are there, to sort of walk you down into said area. Ooh, Yoshi! Actually, there's more to this area than just uh, 
Wow, one up to Wow! <laughs> There's a lot more to this area. But yeah, otherwise this pipe is uh, completely optional, as you can tell. Oh, no, 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 I want Yoshi. Because otherwise I'd be, you know, led to um, that midpoint there, through there. Um, uh, do I need a shell to get that? Probably. E. Me. It's in there. A one up. Man, this place is generous with one ups. <laughs> I like how the. Oh, shoot. I like how the bonsai bills just, like, disappear. Uh, when you hit them immediately. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're just like this, these huge things, they just vanish. <laughs> uh, uh oh. I'm gonna let that pass. Yeah, I'm being a little bit reckless here for my own good. Oh, by the way, whenever you're knocked off of a Yoshi, um, you can just like, watch this. You can walk forward and you can usually land right on it. It's, it's pretty handy to know that because, uh, like, watch here. Yeah, see that? See that? Isn't that handy? <laughs> that it especially works well in really tight spaces but yeah it's oh no time blocks or I, mean, I should say time platforms and eh, I don't like these things they're so frightening or at least I've got a Yoshi to protect myself from the abyss unless I lose the Yoshi along the way you gotta get out of the way because I can't make that jump with you in the way thank you <laughs> oh ooh, ooh, don't like slippery oh Ooh, let, let me in. Okay, thank you. The pipe's being a little finicky here. Because you could tell I was pressing down because I was sliding. Oh, no! Bad time for Lakitu to throw something. Oh, man. Well, I could go back to the top secret area to get myself a cape, but I don't know. It kind of feels like I'm taking the challenge out of the level. <laughs> so let's just, uh, let's just mess around here and see what we can do. Oh, didn't hit the block at first because it was like, oh, it didn't despawn. I thought, <laughs> I thought it was going to despawn. Well, it's a good thing I got that one up now, isn't it? <laughs> um, obviously, you can't get that one up there if you have a, um, I mean, if you didn't get that switch palace because uh, the, sh the shell just falls right into the hole. <laughs> good boy. Uh, watch the shell, watch the shell. I was close, because it was coming towards me, which was what I was aiming for, but I was a little bit early in uh, how I fell into the hole. E. La 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 I keep forget. I mean, I keep figuring that it's despawning, but now it respawns when I. Uh, I mean, I mean, yeah, it is despawning. That's how it's able to respawn. What I what I mean is that I keep thinking that it's still in range of the screen, and um, it's not. <laughs> so it, it phases out of existence. It's like I'm gonna phase that Koopa shell out of existence. <laughs> Cause it's a. Oh no no no! I can't do that while he's roaming around in there. Yeah, the Rexes could prove to be an issue if... I mean, they aren't usually an issue unless you are... Um, unless they trap you like that, but yeah. Are the, you know, Rexes are just these two square high enemies. Oh, and yes, I'm aware that I have the power-up in my inventory, then I forgot that I um, forgot to use the power-up to get a better power-up out of said power-up box, but eh... Oops, that was close. Almost lost my shell there. Ooh. I'm just carrying a shell as like protection from the elements that be in this area. And I've really got to watch for Lakitu's coming up in the next area. <laughs> Ooh. Don't like Koopas. The way they're positioned. Oh shoot, I lost my shell. I also can't get that coin, but whatever. <laughs> Whee! Alright, Lakitu. Lakitu. Lakitu, however it's pronounced, Lakitu. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here are one block jumps. <laughs> Pick your moments wisely. Very, very wisely, Pain. <laughs> oh, I made it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to end off this part here. I hope you enjoyed. And. 
I will see you in the next part. Oh, that's a mean level.